All right, so they are telling me from the decision desk that we can make the call now. And we will project that Donald Trump will win the South Carolina Republican primary. Now, you are going to be on the alert when I say that, because it's all about the margin, and we will talk about the numbers when we come in. So Chris Steyerwald, just to start this off tonight, uh, we expect him to win. Every poll suggests that he would, but that's really just like a fraction of the story, right? Right. I like that duh alert. We're, we may need a lot of duh alert. It'll be on the screen on the bottom. Uh, we may need, we may need a lot of duh alerting in the 2024 cycle. <laughs> uh, the the story for Donald Trump is uh, in politics, it's not how well you do, it's how well you do compared to expectations. And Donald Trump is not good about managing expectations. So he's come into this saying, we're going to brutalize him, we're going to murderize him, we're going to win everything, it, it's going to be massive. So that's a way in which you could win a supermajority of the vote, you could win 55, 60 percent of the vote, and still not have it feel like the kind, kind of resounding victory it would have been in other cases. And the number one thing I'm watching tonight, first congressional district, it is Nikki Haley's one and only chance to snatch just three delegates, that would be a huge moral victory for her if in the final tabulations in that first congressional district around Charleston, she can pocket three delegates, it would be a big symbolic win. This is her. one of the states where you can still win a percentage, right? Right. Trump, uh, the administration changed a lot of the rules, so it's winner take all. But why Trump's he... team worked hard on that. And that's Nancy Macy's district. Oh, yeah. Congressional district. I was just going to ask, which district does it explain why we think that Haley is a chance of winning? These are the coastal elites. Uh, and in South Carolina, you have uh, the, the coastal area in Charleston and around Charleston is not as rabidly Republican, it's not as MAGA, and it's contrasted with the upstate, where folks are very MAGA, much more working class. Uh, you look at, and I know we're going to go through this tonight, but lots of division on who's got a college degree, who doesn't right. have a college degree, what's your household income, and we'll see all of that play out, which has huge implications for the general election. Yeah. We want to get the exits, because that's what we're making our determination on, is what we're learning from the exit polls. So, Mr. McShane, what do well, we know? you know, here's what we found out, among other things, Chris, of the exit polls, is that the biggest issues among South Carolina Republican voters were uh, the economy and immigration, and Donald Trump absolutely dominated today uh, with both of these issues. So, uh, look at the economy and immigration. The economy is the number one issue by far, and among voters who said it was, Trump 68, Haley 25. Immigration was second, Trump 86. To 11 over uh, Nikki Haley in that particular uh, issue. So as we wait uh, for Donald Trump to come out and speak right away early on, he knows what the what the <laughs> score is here. Uh, boy, this is <laughs> you wouldn't expect. This Although it is interesting to see him there, yeah. Connell, because yeah. we don't know what the. Uh, spread margin, is the margin yet. of victory, and that's going to really be the headline that he wants, right, but Connell? Seven oh four. My gosh! Well, it's... that is very early. Yeah, one of the things that we were going to look at data-wise here is how many people uh, crossed over, right? Because this is a, uh, a primary; it's an open primary in South Carolina. So as long as you didn't vote the Democratic primary, and they had low turnout three weeks ago, people could have voted in this uh, primary. And those who did went heavy for Haley, sixty to twenty-nine Democrats who voted in the primary. Problem is, there weren't anywhere close to enough of them. There are more than there usually are. But there weren't enough of them. 77% of the voters today identified as Republicans, and obviously they went in a heavy way uh, for the winner by a large margin here. He's playing his song, Donald Trump. Uh, so he wins it. Uh, and the last thing I'll say to you guys, we'll go into this in detail later, education level. Chris or Leland brought this up. And um, those with a high school diploma or less, 78% Trump, 8% Haley. And we know the way the Republican Party's been changing in recent years. That's a group that's become more and more important within the GOP and Trump continues to dominate. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven unbiased coverage.